Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm filming a video. I'm filming a video. How is it up there? <laughs> So you should dance uh, Kiki next to the camel. <laughs> How can you not love the space? It's absolutely breathtaking. Thank you. 
oldest enclosure wall, or the most preserved part of the enclosure wall, of the oldest stone structure in the world, 2700 BC, 4700 years ago, this was built as a complex, the funeral complex of King Zosa, or Zosa. He's the founder of the third dynasty. All of the kings before him, they used the mud bricks to build their tombs. Okay, it's a good example of the development of the royal tombs. I told you that he buried them first in a pit, and then they started to build something that we call it mastaba. Mastaba is an Egyptian word used in archaeology, which means a bench, like this. As a bench with an entrance leads to a shaft to bury the king under the ground. But this one was built first as one step. Not get inside for some. The Egyptian Museum was mind-blowing. There were many rooms that I was not able to take pictures or record in. It wasn't allowed. And the room where they stored the mask that King Tut was wearing when he was found and many other things that were inside the tomb, you have to see it for yourself. If you can in your lifetime, make sure you go to Egypt. It's quite an experience. Down there's the corridor that we entered and we visited at the beginning. These stages you took pictures next to them. One this way. Thank you. 